All right, folks. So I'm liking, I'm already in love with Open Sousa, but I like it more, even more now for two reasons. Number one, Open Sous, Tumbleweed, KDE Live. There is a live version that you can download from the Open Sousa website. And we're going to look at that right now. The second thing we're going to look at after it gets installed is Opie. It's very similar to the AUR. It, it installs packages from Pac-Man, which is very similar to the AUR in Arch. So I'm going to look at that in the second half of this video. And I'll do a lot of speed editing to uh, not make this very long, hopefully. So we're going to take a look at the OpenSUSE Tumbleweed KDE Live. I've seen places where it says don't use this to install your OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. But I've done it a dozen times now using the Live, and it works like a charm in everything that I've done it in. Uh, the wee little laptop right there is running it right now. Installed from the Tumbleweed KDE Live. So let's check it out. And go. I really, really like. Now, you do have to have internet connection. If you have a Broadcom chip, OpenSUSE will not automatically work with a Broadcom chip. So the thing to do there is, if you do have a Broadcom chip, all you need to do is get one of these. They're on Amazon. I'm not selling it. I'm just telling you that it works. And see, it even says right here, Linux. And it, it works really good and it's got a pretty fast connection. Use something like this to get it installed. It's USB Wi-Fi. Use something like that to get it installed. And once it's installed, then you can install your Broadcom uh, driver. So this is the live. This is Tumbleweed live session. And you can see the little click button right here for installation. We're going to click that. Once we start this install, I am going to pause the recording and not subject you to it because OpenSUSE does install a little on the slow side. But, I mean, if you're not doing a bunch of videos where you're installing different operating systems on a regular basis, you're going to install it once, what, every... If you love it, you're going to install it once. And it's going to keep rolling, and it's going to keep working. You do have to enable the online repositories with the live session, because that's it's going to pull from there to get your install completed. And again, I haven't had any issues. This is this is actually a um, relatively speaking old install. And you can see right here, it's got 643 new updates available for this live session. But when you get done installing it from the live session, you're not going to have to update anything because it's pulling from the current repository, not from the repository that this live is associated with. So it's fabulous wonderful it's outstanding dare i say hit next time zone username i'll do a a simple password that it will complain about i'm sure you really want to use this yes i do now, once again, um, OpenSUSE is, uh, is uh, a little over the top when it comes to the firewall being enabled. If you have network printers, it will not find your network printers. Disable that. If you're behind a router, your router acts like a hardware firewall. You do not need that software firewall. Unless maybe you work for a government agency, then maybe you need it. Other than that, it's just me. I don't need it. Now we're going to hit install and install. Starting installation. Uh, I'm fixing to pause it. This will take 
on on this new system I've got. This will probably take about 15, 20 minutes. So I'm just going to pause it and I'll catch you on the other side. All right, the install is complete. I still have 643 new updates for this live session. We're going to reboot, and when we reboot, you're going to see that there's not any updates to do because it installed all new stuff from online. So hit restart. Restart. Tumbleweed. I don't want to see that on the next startup. I'm going to go ahead and configure my display settings properly. Was it 19 by 10? I think it was. Yep. All right. Success, success. Now, close that out. Go ahead and fire up console. Pseudo zipper dup. Nothing to do. Completely updated. Now, for the Coupe de Grasse, let's talk about Opie. To get Opie, sudo zipper in OPI. Actually, I'm going to hold off on that. So, I'm going to have you do this first. Go down to system yast, bring up yast. The uh, opi will install without doing this. This puts an extra layer of goodness on it. Hit add, community repositories, hit next. Pac Man repository and Pac Man essentials, lib DVD CSS if you have a DVD drive. And you want to watch movies from it and have menus. This is basically activating the OpenSUSE version of the AUR. Hit OK. And OPI is the installer for that OpenSUSE version of AUR, also known as Pac Man. Not to be mistaken for the AUR Pac Man or the Arch Pac Man, it's not the same thing. Arch Pac-Man is a package manager. OpenSUSE Pac-Man is a repository. So, two different things. Now, let's go back to sudo zipper in OPI. Hit yes. Now, the first thing we're going to do is sudo OPI. OPI is the command to install from Pac-Man. Similar to on Arch, you have to install Yay in order to install from the AUR. On uh, Monjero, the default package manager is Pamac, and you can use that to build from the AUR using pa uh, Pamac build package. So sudi, sudo opi codex. Codex is a group of software. And I don't remember what OpenSUSE calls it, but it's a it's a it's a group of softwares. That's best I can do right at the moment. So Opi Codex will install a boatload of Codex that will make your life on OpenSUSE much more enjoyable. And it goes through uh, three or four different steps. There's an, that's one. Here's another one. Uh, here you're getting FFmpeg, GStreamer. Uh, GStreamer, good, pretty, bad, and ugly, and all those things. Here's another one. Another GStreamer, good extra. And open H264 codex. 
So now that that's done, that is done. Now we're going to go sudo, sudo, opi, Google Chrome. Check this out. Do you want to install Chrome from the Google repository? Yes, I do. And you just have to understand that some people on Linux need Google Chrome. I use both Google Chrome and Firefox interchangeably for different reasons. Import signature, yes. Import signature, yes. Does it all. Installs it. Good to go. Um, I use them interchangeably as I can. I use Firefox for a lot of things. I use Google Chrome for a lot of things. Um, I could get away with just Google Chrome, but I don't think I could get away with just Firefox. Wish I could. Do you want to keep the repo Google Chrome? Yes, we do. Keep the repo so that it will update as needed. So, yeah, and you can do Teams, uh, all kinds of good things like sudo opi teams Microsoft repository it's a lovely thing if you're looking for it it might be in, in uh, Pac-Man and opi is the installer for Pac-Man so awesome sweet simple outstanding goodness um yeah and my praises for OpenSUSE Tumbleweed continue. Maybe one of these days I'll have something bad to say about it. Other than the, still not a big fan of the installer, but now that I've used it a lot more, I understand it. It's very powerful. Uh, it's quite dated. It's a little slow, but it's very powerful. It gets the job done. Once you get used to it, it's not a big deal. If you're only going to install your operating system once and keep it, it's not a big deal. Anyway, live CD of Tumbleweed, OPI commands. Amazing and awesome and outstanding. That is all for this one. This is going to be quite a short video. And, you know, that's, that's not always a bad thing. So, until next time, thanks for watching.